Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. They're polite. I mean, they just take the time for you. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. I like the Angels for what they've done for me. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients. Eagle Community Television presents Community Connection with your host, Mike Cooper. Hello and welcome again to Community Connection from Eagle Community Television. Thanks for watching. Thanks as always to the producer and editor of our series, Jeff DeRoll. We're across the street from James Motor Company at 13th and Main, downtown Hayes, with artist Dennis Scheel and the Fox Mural Project. Historic icons in Hayes past, a now completed work. Artist Dennis Scheel, our community connection. Well, let's review a little bit if we could, Dennis. Uh, first of all, we'll begin with a brief history of how this came about. Well, there was, a, there was actually a guy in Australia that did this mural on uh, some grain elevators. And uh, people moved, I mean, people came from all over the world. And I, I was asked about five years ago to paint this elevator downtown. And um, so I figured, well, now's the time. And I had a lot of people give me a phone call after they saw that on Facebook, that thing in Australia. So I did that and got it started went through the whole process and had a design done and then turned around and Union Pacific called me up and says we're tearing down that elevator in in the next three years so that wasn't that wasn't an option so then I figured well there's got to be other places to paint and so the Fox was one Midland Marketing's uh, elevators were another one and they would have let me paint over there um, and then out at the Sternberg, there's a tower out there, and, and there's a few places on campus, but that would be a whole other situation. So I decided to do this one here, and that's where it came from. Now, what challenges did you face? Uh, the, it really, the, the main was get over the height. <laughs> you know, because. You told us last yeah. night, you're not a big fan of no, heights. No, it, it wasn't. You know, I didn't mind heights when I was younger, but now that I'm older, <laughs> the heights was. So, is getting used to that height and then, and then the wind, mm -hmm. you know, and the rest of it wasn't. You know, uh, probably the wor another challenge was trying not to put as much detail in as I usually do mm -hmm. um, because it's just so far away and it's so high that mm -hmm. you don't need that much detail and it kind of looked flat yeah. at that time. Well, and uh, from the uh, mural that you did for the State House uh, that's there, yeah. you know, you could put detail in that and get away with it. Right. But this, yeah. uh, you can't quite do the yeah, same thing. Yeah, different size brushes. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about that. So, speaking of, how do you decide what to include and uh, the input you get? Well, I, on the State Mural, I did a lot of research on the area. So, mm -hmm. I had a lot of the subjects already on the State Mural. Um, so, those subjects were kind of in put in with this one and then they kind of changed as I decided what was going to go on this one versus the one maybe out at Sternberg or something like that and mm -hmm. divided the subjects up a little bit so it'd be more of the prominent things that were happening in the past so but you've got to leave some things out so oh. you have to make those choices don't yeah you? You, you just gotta gotta kind of say you know the courthouse is neat, but you know this is more important. You know, and and Volga German. That's that's probably one of the more. Uh, you know, I wanted to get something with the hospital in there, but I didn't didn't have anything of the historical that I could mm -hmm. really put in there that people would recognize. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I got everything else except for the main characters like Hickok and Cody, and they'll be in the next one. So. So uh, it's artistic license, then, right? I think, yeah, right, yeah. yeah, I get to choose. So. <laughs> Tell me about the amount of paint used. Well, we used, I think the total bill on paint was about $1,200. So that figures to, I think about 20 some gallons plus coat, coat, the coating over the top of it. Mm -hmm. there, was, there wasn't as much paint as I thought. I figured it'd be about three, $4,000 worth of paint in it. Mm -hmm. so. Every uh, painter wants to know about prep work. Do you have any prep work uh, to the side of that building? This was easy because it's on the north side. It gets all the rain cleaning it constantly. Uh -huh. So that may be a problem down the road with it lasting, but uh, 
It was pretty clean. I had to put a, the back yellow, and you can see it at the top. Mm -hmm. That's a mason paint. So that is the base, and then after that I used a latex water. And the, the water, they said, was gonna last just as long as the oil, which surprised me. Speaking of, what, what do you think the duration of the work will be? Well, I think maybe, oh, I would say an easy 20 to 25 years. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, even if it starts to pat, patinating a little bit or, you know, deteriorating a little bit, it isn't gonna hurt the, the effect on that because of the colors. Well, now, Jeff will be uh, taking some uh, close-up views of our discussion here. Tell us what we're seeing again. Let's start. Uh, at the left where, where our eye is supposed to start, right? Okay. And, uh, tell, and take us through it. Yeah, we've got in the background there, there's the old steam tractor, and then it's threshing wheat. And then up in front, these pictures were out of the, out of, uh, off of, from the history mm -hmm. of Hayes. Uh, the, the two up in front were Volga German farmers. They were actually out, uh, topping beets, but I put them in the wheat field. Well, she had, she had, I think she had some a beet in one hand and I'm not sure what in the other. So she looked really stiff. So I had to put a bucket, <laughs> bucket in a, uh, uh, the, um, I don't even know what they call those ladles to uh -huh. get water out in her hands so she wouldn't look like she was uh -huh. too as stiff. Um, Pete Felton's uh, buffalo. Mm -hmm. And then the great big buffalo is just, that's what I enjoy doing as animals. And then in the back uh, is Fort Hayes and General Hayes, Boot Hill, and then the university. And that would be pretty close. Now there's, there's hidden items in there for people that really want to look and you're not going to find them, but I'll guarantee you they're there. There's seven tornadoes in there. There's a Waldo. Uh, there's a, uh, some somebody suggested we put some slippers, red slippers in there. Uh, There's some red slippers in there. You did put the slippers yes. in. And people have looked for them, and I'll guarantee you, you're going to have to go up. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to find them from down here. <laughs> give us a clue where Waldo is. Well, I no uh, no because no, I did the same. Out. I did the same thing on the state mural. I've got. Uh, um, three Waldos hidden in there and three. and there's tornadoes hidden in, uh -huh. and, and one of the Waldos is actually Waldo, Kansas. Uh -huh. So that's the only, they had a big thing when I when we first put it in the state capitol, the, all the pages, that was our first week. Well, as long as I've got you here on camera, any other secrets in there that we need to be no, looking for? No, that's about, I think there was just tornadoes and Waldo yeah. and uh, slippers. All right. It's uh, what, thir uh, 35 by 60 was your plan, right? Yeah. You come pretty close to that. Well, it came out, I think it's 64 crossed, and it's a little over 30 tall. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there were uh, comments, of course, obviously. What have you heard so far? <laughs> well, I've heard nothing but, I mean, they really, a lot of people appreciate it. They mm -hmm. really like to see it. Um, there's a few people that says, well, my ancestors out of the other. <laughs> uh, I had, oh, I think it was one of the city councilmen. <laughs> I won't shall mention, remain I nameless. won't mention his name. <laughs> he came to me and he had the, the whole mural on there, but he had his picture in place of Grant's <laughs> up on top. And he says, this is what I expected. What's your problem? Yeah. Uh, oh, dear. Well, well I guess it's, hey, he's not Grant. <laughs> obviously, uh, then you've got... Uh, and, and tell me about the, the Hayes and uh, America. You decided on well, Hayes America. Then. When I first came to Hayes, everybody was saying Hayes America. And I didn't know where that was coming from. And on the original picture, I had Hayes USA. Mm -hmm. And then somebody says you need to use Hayes America. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I didn't realize there was some past in Hayes America. And mm -hmm. I didn't didn't know what that was, but I really liked the Hayes America. Yeah. The one thing that kind of made me mad was that um, I think the city told me that they couldn't put it on a sign, uh -huh. you know, out someplace because somebody said, no, you can't do that. And I told them I can do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So we'll see if we get in trouble with that uh -huh. one. I don't know. I may be back up on the uh -huh. scaffolding. <laughs> You're say we may, we may be fixing something yeah. after yeah. the fact then. But I think that's a great, Hayes America is perfect. What about uh, the, the size of it? Uh, anybody say, well, why didn't you cover the whole thing? Yeah, they, they wanted, people have said, well, why didn't you spread it out all the way across there? 
and uh, I thought 65 by 35 was plenty big, and it balanced itself. I really mm -hmm. like the way it is. Uh, a lot of people wanted ask why I didn't fill the whole panel, mm -hmm. um, but I kind of work that way. I kind of like it space on the outside. To me, as I told you uh, when we were looking at the uh, final product there, uh, it it has a nice balance to yeah, it. It I seems so. to me like. Yeah. And it was unveiled during uh, the Hayes Arts Council's annual meeting. Right. Yep. Uh, Hayes Arts Council, of course, one of those. Uh, primary funding uh, right. sources for it. Right. Uh, funding come through pretty well for it? It did all right. You know, my main goal was uh, to get this one done so that I could prove that I could do it mm -hmm. for the next one. And then it'll go from there. And of course, uh, obviously, uh, the uh, uh, Hayes Arts Council is noted in uh, the one plaque there. Right. What about the other two plaques? Uh, the one plaque, the, the larger plaque on the right, I make sure it's my right, <laughs> uh, is the sponsors, uh -huh. uh, the people that donated to it. And the little plaque up above, in between, up above the Hayes Arts Council there is the dedication. And I dedicate it to my wife and then also to Bob and Pat Schmidt, who Pat wanted art downtown. She's been a real supporter of the Hayes Arts Council and the downtown area. So that was a fitting tribute at that time. Indeed, well, and a fitting tribute to downtown for your work too, Dennis. It really does add beauty, and it's going to be something, as as was said, a soon-to-be destination spot yeah. in Hayes, USA, I think. Okay, now we have to talk as an artist about the next project. Well, I'm hoping with finishing this one that out at the Sternberg, there's a tower out there, there's a water tower, and on the base of it, I think it goes about 80 feet tall. It's hard to measure from the ground, so I haven't gone out and measured it, but I'm hoping that I put, um, I'm gonna make it a 60, I think 67 feet tall is how high I'll go. And then I'm thinking roughly about 80 feet around. Mm -hmm. And it'll include Hickok, Cody, and Custer. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'm going to put another big buffalo out there uh -huh. and then put Hayes in great big letters out there. So um, it's more of, I, I think it, this was kind of my kickoff to the 150th that mm -hmm. we're celebrating next year. So mm -hmm. I think that next year, we'll, if we could make that out of a, you know, this part of the 150th next so, year. So. Sometime in the time frame of 2017. Yeah, maybe. I'm hoping that uh, I would get started, weather permitting, in April mm -hmm. and have it finished by October. Mm -hmm. So give that'll give me about to, six months. Give you a little time to think about that 60-foot height. Then, yeah, right? the 60-foot the height is all I have to get over there. <laughs> Just get your mind set in the right <laughs> place. And finally, I guess we should uh, say thanks to Stan Dreiling and the James oh, Motor yeah. Company crew for uh, yeah. allowing the use of the space. Yeah, I didn't know Stan very well before, and he really is a nice guy. It was a lot of fun to work there. He, he'd do anything for me, so it was really great. As an artist, you have a rare and unique talent, Dennis Scheel, and you have a talent for bringing enjoyment to all of us who will be seeing this mural every time we drive by 13th and Main downtown. Well, that's what I look to do, so. Our uh, community connection, Hayes artist, Dennis Scheel. Angels Care Home Health, serving Hayes and the surrounding areas, is a Medicare-certified home health agency providing quality skilled nursing and restorative therapy services to patients in their homes. And the Angel Care nurse comes to see me once a week. Angels Care is there to help 24 hours a day, and all services are covered 100% by Medicare for patients who are eligible. Angel Care has helped uh, to stay home. Angels Care Home Health. We serve patients.